Google, my friend. Thank you again for my uh, monthly video magazine. And uh, lately, I have a patient um, coming in, and the mom is kind of concerned about the diagnosis I've been giving to the to, to her child. Um, I've been um, you know, seeing a lot of young patients um, coming into my office, have eye problems, the parents never notice. And one of the common problems that children have is what we call amblyopia. Amblyopia um, actually in a uh, literal term meaning that uh, is lazy eye. Now, a lot of times the parents will say, hey, my child is doing fine. Why he or she have this lazy eye problem? Lazy eye usually meaning that on one eye that is functioning normal and the other eye is not doing too well. Normally, the kid were able to play well, do well, read well, and the parents may not even notice that kids have any problem until they are getting older, they struggle in school, they have problems seeing. So I'm going to use this video to explain to you kind of watchful how your kids development, what's normal vision development. And if you notice that something is not showing up right, you're able to pick up any visual problem early on. Let's go with like at birth until six months old. I'm going to tell you from, again, from zero to six months old, that's not a lot of thing that you need to watch out for. But again, you need to watch out for your baby's eye movement. Normally, at that age, they should be able to follow your face, the parent's face, or anything interested you know, to the baby, they will be uh, able to follow up and down, left and right. And also, when the parent's face gets closer, they were able to track your, your face. As you move further back, they were able to, again, track it also. You have to realize that at the age they are paying attention to noises when your noises make somewhere else they start to turn their head towards the noises these are normal uh, development visual development for age start zero to six months old and then next stage i want you to look at is six to twelve months old now at this age they should be able to play peekaboo and they should be able to start follow a rolling ball and then they were able to again watch the ball rolling towards them or watch the ball rolling away from them and then they were able to again start feeling in stuff early on they have no concept of space like inside the box but at this age they were able to know oh there's space inside the box they were able to pick up stuff and put in take out and put it outside so inside, outside, in and out, they start to have this concept of space. And then also they will realize that when they drop something down to uh, the toys or spoon, they were able to again follow and they will discover this is the age they sit on a high chair and they would like to throw the spoon down the floor and then see how they drop to the floor. They realize that when you drop something, they will go down. And then this is the simple thing that they will realize. Uh, they start to have space, they realize that down and up, there's real space, 3D perception coming into their term. And next one, from 12 to 18 months, they will start to, again, use their hand to use a crayon to scrabble on the, on the paper. And also, they were able to put simple objects together, putting shape into holes. A lot of time, parents will say, hey, what kind of toys should I give to, to my kid at a certain age? You're talking about 12 to 18 months, the best toy for them to they enjoy is puzzle, simple puzzle, uh, simple puzzle that they were able to put together. And then next one, from 18 to 24 months, they were able to stack stuff up. This is the time that Lincoln Lock come in, uh, Block come in, and also they were able to, again, play through different obstacles, like you can put different furniture and obstacle course, simple obstacle course they were able to enjoy uh, in a play area. And also, this is the time that they were able to um, enjoy nesting toys, stacking small and big, big to small, and this are the age that they were able to enjoy those nesting toys. And then from two to three years old, and your toddlers were able to, of course, run, tumbling, and climbing. These are common things that two, three years old will start to enjoy. They were able to, again, enjoy more complex puzzle, drawing on paper, they were able to do it now. And then also they were able to classify object in different size and color. Lastly, three to four years old. And they were, now again, this is the age they were able to, again, judge the speed of things. These are the age that they were able to play ball. Not too early, a lot of time, parents are too aggressive, two, three years old. Um, they want them to play, start to play, you know, baseball, t-ball and all those, but wait until they're three to four, they start able to adjust the speed and distance. They were able to, again, play hidden picture like, you know, where's Waddle and all those bigger and grand um, 
uh, picture, they were able to enjoy, they were able to pick up small detail uh, from, uh, from the page. And again, Play-Doh, they were able to start to have the finger and the motor skill and the visual skill to do Play-Doh. And this is the time we should start. Now, not reading by themselves, do not want them to read too early. They like to pick up books, but do not let them to read too early. Poor reading skill develop because they read too early. So this is the time that parents need to read book with them. Let them enjoy story, uh, pick up the imagination. Prepare them to read by reading to them. So these are the healthy stuff that uh, parents can do. And this is also the normal vision development. When we say normal vision development, we are talking about not doing something too difficult for the kid, not doing it too early. They were able to pick up the right thing to do at the right age, build confidence, enjoy their, their social skill, enjoy their, their, their growing up developmentally, and they were able to have good visual health for years to come. Thank you.